This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Friends, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that this day shall be a very fruitful and useful day. You will live for the glory and honor of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And let us begin this day by meditating on God's word just for a few minutes at the feet of Jesus. Today's meditation is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 7, verses 1 to 5. Where the title can be, Do Not Judge. While commissioning the disciples for world evangelism, for the purpose of making disciples of all nations, Jesus said how to make disciples. And number one, by proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Number two, those who respond to the gospel must be baptized. And number three, discipleship begins by teaching whatever Jesus taught us. Now the question is, where do we find the teaching of Jesus? My friends, the teaching of Jesus Christ is found in the gospel and especially certain passages certain pa chapters are important the gospel according to saint matthew chapters 5 to 7 we have the whole teaching of jesus the sermon on the mount and then when you come to the gospel of john the gospel according to saint john chapters 13 to 17 full of teaching and then in all the Gospels, Jesus taught us many things through parables. So you read these parables and then meditate and think about what Jesus is teaching us by using these parables. And uh, today I would like to meditate uh, with you one of his teachings found in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 where it says, do not judge. Let us learn something, what it means judging others or not judging others. And Jesus' command is, do not judge others. Human nature is very, very, very quickly judge others. Though the one who judges others may carry and have the same kind of problems or mistake that uh, others are doing. But we don't see that it is in ourselves, within us. And we don't care about it, we don't take note of it, and so we don't do anything about it. Now, and um, uh, let us look into this and try to understand what Jesus is really saying. Jesus condemns the habit of judging others or criticizing others while ignoring uh, one's own fault. And always remember, none of us are perfect. None of us are without any spot or wrinkles. Believers must first submit to themselves uh, to God's righteous standard and before attempting to examine and influence the conduct of other Christians. The Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7 verses uh, 3 to 5 Judging in an unjust manner will amount to condemning a wrongdoer without desiring to restore him back to a relationship with God and a relationship with others. Luke chapter 6 verses 36 and 37 makes it very clear. Let us look into that. Luke chapter 6 verses 36 and 37. In this passage, Jesus is talking. He says, do not judge 
and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Therefore, uh, there are two things that we need to take note of. Number one, Christ is not saying that uh, there is no place or necessity uh, of uh, exercising a certain degree of uh, discernment or uh, there is no place for making uh, value judgments with uh, respect of a sin in others. That is not what Jesus is meaning. Elsewhere in the New Testament, um, we are commanded to identify uh, false teachers and false prophets and false ministers within the church. This you read in Matthew chapter 7 verse 5, 7 verse 15. You know, evaluate the character of uh, individuals. In John's Gospel, chapter 7, verse 24, and then 1 John, chapter 4, verse 1. Now, in these passages, Jesus is telling us how to discern the false teachers and the false prophets. And 1 John, chapter 4, verse 1 is very, very clear, where it says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but check. Test the spirit, whether it is from the Lord or from elsewhere. That is very, very important. Now, this verse should not be used as an excuse for laxity or ex ex exercising church discipline. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 15, Jesus taught us what to do in uh, in, uh, if a brother sins. Verses 15 to 17, you read. In this passage, Jesus sets forth the method of restoring uh, or disciplining a professing Christian who does something wrong against another brother in the church. And this is what Jesus taught us. If you will read Matthew chapter 19, verses 15 to 17, and think what Christ taught us. To neglect or ignore Christ's uh, instructions will bring spiritual compromise and ultimate destruction of the church. Remember the holiness of God and the sanctity of his name should be the number one priority of uh, Christ's church. It is very important, therefore, my brothers, that we follow these instructions uh, when it comes to judging others. We are very quick to find a small dust in uh, someone else's eyes while a big beam is sitting over our eyes. That we don't see. But we, with that still sitting uh, in our eyes, we still try to uh, clear the brother's eyes which, who may have a small dust in his eyes. You know, this is human nature. And uh, this was the problem with the Pharisees. No, the Pharisees, Jesus told once, you listen to the Pharisees' teachings and follow their teachings, but do not follow what they practice. Because they do not practice what they teach. They are, and they are telling others, don't do this, don't do that, etc. And yet, the people will see them doing the same thing they are forbidding others to do. Now this is the way that we can uh, bring destruction upon the name of Jesus Christ. You know the prayer Jesus taught us, our Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. And that means let your name be made holy in my life. And through me let others see your holiness. 
And so, in judging others, we must be very careful, first of all, our motive, our intentions. And when we criticize others, we should check what we are criticizing for. Is it just to destroy one's name or destroy one's character? Or th there are two kinds of criticism. One is destructive criticism and the second one is constructive criticism. Now everybody will welcome constructive criticism. But unfortunately most of us do destructive criticism. And so in building up our Christian character, and the building up our Christian life in a way that is pleasing to the Lord and which also will prepare us to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We need to build up our own character, our own habit, our own behavior and our own uh, lifestyle. And uh, a preacher's prayer should be, Lord, let my message be my life and let my life be my message. And otherwise, you know, the world will not be impressed by our ministry or our what we teach. And therefore, Jesus' instruction for us is, do not judge. And I hope you have understood what Jesus really meant. And let us practice what is right and also it is our responsibility to teach others as mature Christians and so if you see somebody judging others and in a wrong manner and in a more with a more uh, with the wrong motive help him to correct himself and understand the way of the Lord I hope that it will help you in your own conduct and in your own uh, judgment on others. May the Lord bless you and may the Holy Spirit mold your own life and your character. This is my prayer. Lord, I pray for every person who listened to today's message. And I thank you that you have instructed us and given us guidance as to what to do with judgment, the, the nature of judgment, the, uh, judging others. And may we do the right thing, Lord, so that your church will be built up in a very attractive manner. And the church will be ready, and I will be ready, and my brothers and sisters will be ready to meet our Creator and stand before His judgment seat and then give an account of our lives. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day and have a good day. Amen.